All right, if you remember my mixture problem before, here is a mixture problem disguised in the form of simple interest. So an accountant invests part of $6,000 in a low risk account that pays 1.5% simple interest and the rest in a higher risk account that pays 4% simple interest. Together, the investment earns $180 the first year. Find the amount invested at each rate. All right. So, again, just like a mixture problem, if you've seen that video of mine, um, the, uh, I'm going to set up two equations. And the first thing we need to know is what is simple interest. Okay. Simple interest is um, your principal or the amount you invest times your rate times the amount of time we're dealing with. Since we're just dealing with time in one year, in our case, it's just P times R, or principal times rate. And so we need that. So we'll come back to that in a minute. But right now, um, we're going to invest, uh, we need two equations, just like in a, any mixture problem. We need uh, an inve uh, excuse me, an equation for the total amount, and in our case, total amount invested. And before we do that, we're going to have to have some, uh, for, some variables. So um, I'm going to have an L to represent... Um, the amount invested at low risk and I'm going to have a capital H represent the amount invested at high risk that is a V Okay, and so we've got L and H. So we would know then that our total invested would be L plus H, and we know the total amount we invested was six thousand okay, dollars. So that's the total amount. Then uh, you know, with a mixture problem, you'd want you know something dealing with hydrochloric acid or an equation dealing with whatever you're dealing with, uh, maybe gold or uh, silver. Uh, versus some ambient material. Well here, it's our total amount and our interest. And so we need a formula for interest, total interest. And since we know principal times rate is our interest, the low amount, or low risk amount, um, that is 0 0.015 for 1.5% times L plus our high interest or high high risk uh, account, which was 0.04 uh, times H, and we know the two interests added together has to be $180. Okay, so those are our two formulas. Now, to get our uh, to get how much we invest in each kind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here to this top equation. And I'm going to solve the equation for, um, let's say we solve it for L. So what you do is subtract H from both sides. And so your low risk, your amount invested in low risk is always going to be 6,000 minus the amount you invest in the high risk account, which kind of makes sense. So then once you do that, you're going to take this $6,000 minus H and substitute it in place of the L in the other equation. So our new equation in green is kind of hard to read. I'll go back to blue. 0 0.015 times 6,000 minus H plus 0.04H equals $180. And so you back to eighth grade again, start distributing through. 0.015 times 6,000 is 90 minus 0.015x plus 0.04h, oh, not x, excuse me, we're using h, <laughs> plus 0.04h 
equals 180. So that's all I did was distribute through and uh, we've got the, a new equation. Now I'm going to move this 90 over because I want to get it on the other side. And uh, we're going to combine these two terms here in the middle. So negative 0.015 plus 0.04h is going to be 0.25h equals 180 minus 90 is 90. Then your high risk, the amount invested in your high risk is going to be 90 divided by 0.25 or 3,600 dollars. Whoa. And zero cents. Alright, so 3,600 bucks. And so that means your low risk is going to be 6,000 bucks minus that or 2,400 dollars. So, um, so the, your accountant or whoever invested this, your accountant invested three thousand six hundred dollars. There's um, at four uh, percent interest. And two thousand four hundred dollars at one point five percent interest in order to obtain uh, uh, obtain what? Well, obtain earnings. of $180 in simple interest. Now the world doesn't work in simple interest, but hey, we'll talk about that when we get to the logarithms chapter and the exponential equations chapter. So there you have it. You're done. I hope this helps you. Hopefully you're starting to see a theme between all of these problems. Uh, best of luck, and I will see you next time.